So today I'm teaching the individuals who come into our facility how to churn butter on a tabletop uh, butter churn or butter crock. And it's a little time consuming. So basically we have here our main ingredient, which is heavy whipping cream. And we poured the heavy whipping cream into our crock. And as you can see, it's no longer cream. It's starting to kind of resemble butter. There's some chunks in there that are already forming up. One of the easiest things that I've learned with, uh, with heavy whipping cream is go ahead and leave it out and let it get up to room temperature because it'll make the process go by a little bit quicker. So once we have our butter pretty much separated and we have buttermilk and butter, we're gonna go ahead and pre-wash it with cold water in this pan. Um, first, we're gonna separate everything out, of course. That way our buttermilk can go in here and then our butter will go in here and we'll go ahead and give it a bath and we'll keep repeating that process until finally um, there's no buttermilk left coming out of the butter itself. Here we have our butter spoon. And then of course we have a small bowl here and then we have our butter mold here which here in a little bit i'll probably end up soaking this into some water that way it makes it a little bit easier to use but yeah anybody can do this the hardest part is basically is raising this little rod and having to go up and down and within a couple of uh maybe an hour We'll have butter now if you never had homemade churned butter we did this last year and there is nothing like it in the world and to be honest with you i don't miss the saltiness of today's butter when i'm trying out something that i actually made and i can tell that the cream is starting to get thick because it's starting to get a little hard to pull up and down on the rod right here so once we have butter, we'll go ahead and check back with you. And as you can see from the time that I've talked to you, there's a little bit of a change in it already. So it won't be long from this point here. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like because it's starting to get a little hard to churn now. And as you can see, it looks as if the butter has separated from the buttermilk. and pull that out and then we're going to go ahead and strain the buttermilk or separate it using some cheesecloth Now I've already, in case you're wondering, yes, I've already washed my hands. They've been sanitized. Now, the reason why you want to separate the buttermilk from the, the uh, butter itself is because if you have any buttermilk in here, then your butter is not going to keep as long. All right. So here you have buttermilk, and here you have your butter. Now comes time for us to go ahead and continue washing it. So I have some water here. And we're going to keep doing this with a butter paddle or butter spoon to kind of try to wash out what's left of the buttermilk.
So I have a secondary pot here. So my water is now starting to come out a lot clearer as I do this, which means it is about done. So we'll just drain the rest of it as much as we can. And pour that in here. So as you can see, there's our butter. I'm just going to do this again just to kind of get some more of that moisture out of here. There we go. And now I'm just going to scrape and try to get as much of that butter out of here. Now we don't have an actual butter bowl or a very large bowl to do this. Usually when you do butter, you're going to have a bowl that's a lot larger than this. That way, as the paddle comes up, it helps to kind of separate that water a little bit. So we don't have that with us. And now that this is pretty much done, I went ahead and I soaked this. Now, we need a lot of butter for this. Unfortunately, we have our second one here. We can only do small batches with this, which is perfect for us. But anyway, the butter press here is enough to go ahead and pretty much put a simple design on it. So that's what they're for. And then from there, what we'll do is serve this, but I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much Take this home with me and we're going to go ahead and enjoy it at home i just need to wash out this container here a little bit that was left over from our last program it looked like it had a little bit of sugar in there voila now you don't want to touch the butter with your hands okay because that's just going to help spoil it or it won't keep as long. But for something like this, for like this, this is perfect for a single uh, dinner type of thing. So at any rate, that is how you make butter. And then of course you want to keep your buttermilk in another container because you can use this to make anything that requires buttermilk. So yeah, like I said, not, not, too awful long, about an hour to do one of those little kind of like containers like this and something like this. And it's a lot of fun to do, especially when butter there for a while was very, very, very expensive and whipping cream that's heavy. Believe it or not, I paid less than $4 for the containers at the store. So, all right, well, this is our first tasting history video of the year. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.